Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's video, uh, we're going to be taking another look at Benchin.io. Uh, in case you missed my last video, I'll put a link uh, to it up above here. It's a really cool app. Uh, it's completely cloud and browser based, and it allows you to use their online parts catalog uh, to 3D model and build your machine, robot, uh, structure online using the parts that they have available uh, and to price it out on the fly as you go uh, as well as order it and get it shipped to you uh, complete with instructions hardware required and all the parts cut to the proper lengths make sure you guys check out that video uh, if you aren't familiar with Vention uh, today's video we're gonna be taking a look at what's new with Vention uh, it's been about four months now since my last video, and they reached out uh, to see if I wanted to make another video for you guys. So today's video is sponsored by Vention.io, and in it we're going to be going over some of the new features and additions that they've added in the last few months. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, let's take a look. So getting started here, we're going to take a look at some of the new features Vention has added to the platform in the last few months since the original video I created. Uh, to start with, we're going to check out an existing uh, assembly. So I'm just going to switch over to one I've opened up here. Uh, you can see it's a uh, work table with a robotic arm design, and I'm going to use it to demonstrate a couple of the new features that have been added into the uh, CAD software portion of the website. So first up is they've added a new group and ungroup uh, command uh, and option, which can be super helpful when you're designing. Uh, for example, if you've got any number of parts you would like to group together, simply select them. So I'm going to select and hold control to select multiple parts. And down here along the uh, command bar, you can select group and see that it's now been grouped. The group icon is now grayed out and you can now ungroup it uh, if needed. One of the benefits of grouping parts, it makes it easier to copy and paste them. So I'm going to use control C and control V. And it's going to drop a copy of that part that I've just uh, grouped down here. So I can add this into my design. Uh, it's going to let me drop it uh, wherever it'll work in my assembly. And you can see I can now ungroup it and I've got it in the individual parts. So that's one new feature they've added. Uh, it's super useful. It can be very helpful when you're working with large amounts of uh, parts. If you'd like to just highlight them all, let's just highlight this whole side here and group them together. Now when we go to select one, you're going to get them all. Uh, it's like a, exactly what you would think for a group and ungroup command. And now it's accessible quickly uh, from the command bar down here. One thing you might remember from my uh, previous video, or if you've used Vention, uh, is that multiple people can work on a design and you can share kind of the workflow between the A team. One feature they've added to help that process along is the commenting and ability to uh, save uh, individual pinned comments to your assembly. So I'm going to add a comment like, why did you add this? And these comments can be getting another team member to review something or to continue on where you left off. Uh, they could also just be reminders for you to double check something when you get back to your design. Uh, so I've written out, why did you add this? I'm going to click this little pin here and it's going to let me drop this comment somewhere in my model. So you can see now that once I've submitted this, it's been added to the list and any other users that are added to my assembly can view this as well as see it down here. So the next person that takes a look at the model or works on it uh, can check out these pinned comments 
uh, they can also, once it's been submitted by you, they can check it off as being complete or add a reply. Uh, uh, like it was needed and submit that into the comment string or if I've taken a look and I've solved the issue I can simply just check it off it'll go into the resolved column now or tab uh, and can be unchecked if somebody else disagrees or it can be left as resolved you can also refresh to see if somebody's making changes in real time uh, or add a new comment uh, through using the same process. These pins and comments uh, would be a great way to work within a team uh, as well as to help kind of cut down on confusion when trying to explain changes or additions needed to your project. So one more uh, new feature that was added to the CAD kind of modeling portion of the software is the ability to see the full revision history and management uh, of a file uh, through the open folder here and you can go back through different versions and see when they were edited uh, and what was done uh, just by clicking and opening it so we can go back a revision it will tell you up top here which version you're on and it'll let you know that you're behind the latest revision that's available and you can see it's instantly gone back to an older version, one before we added the extra parts here. Uh, and it makes it easy to track what's been changed, what's going on, and you can go back and forth between the last saved and previous saved versions of your assembly. All right, so we're back onto the home screen of Vention, and now we're gonna go through a few of the new features added to this site and overall platform. So the first one is the ability to earn a royalty uh, on your designs when somebody purchases it. To get to the feature and turn it on, you can simply go to your profile button over here and go to About Me. Once you're on the About Me page, you can click on the Earn Credit button on the left here and go through the details of earning a royalty on your design. Uh, you're able to earn 2.5% of the design value in credit, which you can then use to uh, towards your next purchase on the site. To get started, simply click design, Start Designing Now, name your assembly, give it a description, and start designing. Once you're finished, you're going to be able to click the Publish button up on the top uh, above your design, and that'll allow other users to find your designs uh, as well as it'll provide some information about your design and give them the ability to uh, order it for themselves. The next new feature that's been added into the site uh, is the ability to request a design review on your assemblies. So over here we're going to click on, on my assemblies and for this workbench I did in the original video you can choose request design review. This will get an actual pair of eyes to review your design for any issues with part compatibility uh, or any other issues that might pop up when you go to assemble it or with the ordered parts. You can choose the review type uh, between general design assistance, uh, integrity, motion control, uh, as well as others. You can also fill in the scope of your design review, what you'd like them to check out and give you feedback on, as well as provide your phone number. They'll reach out to you through the phone number or email to set up a time that works for you to go through your design, uh, and Benchins professionals will help you uh, solve any issues, as well as give you some feedback on what could be improved or what's gonna work well. This is a free service provided by Vention to make sure that you guys the designers are getting everything that you uh, are looking for out of their product. So the last new feature we're going to go over today is the instant quote option that's now available in the checkout. Uh, when you go to checkout, you're going to get the option up here now to download a PDF quote. This can be super useful uh, when you're pricing out a project or part. Uh, you can simply download it and get all of the shipping information, 
uh, pricing and part list in an easy to use as well as an easy to show other people uh, file, which looks a little bit like this one here that I've printed out from my uh, demo. You can see all of the parts as well as the quantity of parts needed, unit price and total prices along the right, as well as a little image and description of each part uh, that your assembly is going to require. And I think it can be super useful for anyone that's looking to uh, price out designs and may need to get approval before ordering uh, or just to have them as quotes to keep for a future project uh, or client. So that's it for today's video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to learn some more about Benchin or about any of the new or previous features, uh, I'll put links down below in the description and uh, I hope you guys check them out. Uh, I really enjoyed working with them and, and I think the software that they've created on their platform is huge for anyone that likes to tinker uh, all the way up to professionals that want to build uh, structures, workbenches, or even frames for any of their machines. As always, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below what you think, uh, as well as don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.